Nicola has gone up like crazy after the company got an important order from a big transport company. So should you load up on the stock? Sit tight as we take you through the order details as well as recent news and our price action analysis of the stock. But before we do that, subscribe to our channel One Dollar World for regular Nicola stock updates. In a crucial week for Nicola, the startup has received a significant boost as JB Hunt Transport places an order for 13 trucks. Consisting of both battery electric and hydrogen powered fuel cell models, this move not only helps Tesla in reducing its inventory by purchasing 10 battery electric trucks, but also strengthens the order book for zero emission vehicles with the inclusion of hydrogen powered fuel cell trucks. Nikola's fortunes have taken a positive turn, especially when considering the recent market situation. Their shares on NASDAQ closed at $2.67 on Monday, experiencing a notable increase of 70.17%. Just a while back, on June 6th, the shares were trading below $1, and the company faced the risk of being delisted from the NASDAQ. For J.B. Hunt, this purchase serves as a strategic step towards fulfilling its sustainability objectives by expanding its fleet with more zero tailpipe and fully emissions-free trucks. Notably, Hunt has enough familiarity with hydrogen-powered trucks, allowing them to skip the testing phase and confidently integrate these environmentally friendly vehicles into their operations. Beginning in August, Nikola will start delivering its inventory of battery electric tray trucks, with 152 unsold trucks remaining at the end of the first quarter in March. The company is set to report its second quarter financials on Friday. These tray trucks are equipped with 9 battery packs, providing a range of up to 300 miles on a single electric charge. J.B. Hunt, headquartered in Lowell, Arkansas, expressed its commitment to embracing cutting-edge technologies and innovative solutions that have the potential to revolutionize freight transportation. According to Nick Hobbs, the chief operating officer and president of J.B. Hunt Contract Services, the company aims to reduce its carbon emission intensity by 32% by 2034, compared to the levels in 2019. To achieve its sustainability goals, Hunt plans to use these new trucks to service routes in the greater Los Angeles and Phoenix areas. Nikola's hydrogen arm, Hyla, will supply the necessary hydrogen and fueling infrastructure for the fuel cell electric trucks, which are slated for production in the current quarter. Having received its first company-owned battery electric vehicle, a Freightliner E-Cascadia, in December 2022, J.B. Hunt has since expanded its fleet with four more E-Cascadia tractors. As part of its environmentally conscious strategy, the company intends to integrate multiple zero-emission vehicles from various original equipment manufacturers, or OEMs, into its 21,000 truck fleet by the end of 2024. Starting Tuesday, Delaware is implementing a regulation change that will allow Nikola to double its authorized shares. By selling some of these newly authorized shares, the company aims to address overdue interest on a $200 million hedge fund loan and strengthen its financial position. This move comes as Nikola's balance sheet has been facing challenges, and the company is looking forward to generating revenue from fuel cell truck sales to numerous customers. To proceed with the share increase proposal, Nikola had to adjourn its virtual annual meeting twice as it initially lacked enough votes to meet the higher threshold required. However, on Thursday, the company is set to announce the final vote on the proposal after the regulatory change takes effect. Under the new regulation, Nikola only needs a simple majority of proxies voting in favor of the share increase to pass the proposal. This requirement is more attainable compared to the previous threshold of 50% plus one of all outstanding shares. The company is confident in obtaining sufficient votes to pass the proposal and move forward with its financial plans. Enjoying the video so far? Be sure to join our Discord community to connect with other like-minded investors. Let's look at how the Nikola stock is performing right now. Nikola Corporation's stock is currently trading at $2.67, experiencing a 5.6% decline for the day. The stock's price fluctuated between a day's low of $2.34 and a day's high of $2.80. Over the past year, the stock reached its 52-week high of $8.97 but also faced a low of 52 cents during the same period, indicating significant volatility. With a trading volume of 67.72 million shares, Nikola's stock activity has drawn notable attention in the market. At the current stock price, the company's market capitalization stands at $1.63 billion, reflecting its value as perceived by investors. There are several factors contributing to today's decline in Nikola's stock. Firstly, concerns arise after the company announced a truck catching fire at its Phoenix headquarters. This incident marks the second fire occurrence in recent months, leading to heightened safety concerns for the company's products. Secondly, Nikola faces increased competition from established electric vehicle manufacturers like Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid Motors. The competitive landscape in the EV market poses challenges for Nikola's market share and growth prospects. 
In other Nikola news, Nikola Corporation, a prominent global leader in zero emissions transportation, energy supply, and infrastructure solutions under the Hyla brand, has just announced an impressive additional funding of $16.3 million. This financial support is specifically aimed at bolstering seven open network hydrogen refueling stations. With this latest funding, Nikola has now received a substantial sum of $58.2 million, dedicated to supporting seven hydrogen refueling stations. Among these, six stations are strategically located along critical freight corridors within prominent organizations like the South Coast Air Quality Management District, or AQMD, San Diego County Air Pollution Control District, and Mojave Desert AQMD. Notably, the recently disclosed grant award of $41.9 million from the Trade Corridor Enhancement Program, or TCEP, contributes significantly to this funding initiative. The specific breakdown of the recent awards includes $3.3 million from the energized West Sacramento California Energy Commission, $1.6 million from the Mobile Source Air Pollution Reduction Review Committee, $7 million from SAC Metro AQMD, and $4.4 million from South Coast AQMD. This financial backing comes as a substantial boost to Nikola's efforts in expanding and fortifying hydrogen refueling infrastructure. By strategically placing these refueling stations along critical freight corridors, Nikola aims to accelerate the adoption of hydrogen fuel cell technology, contributing to a cleaner and greener transportation ecosystem. Nikola's recent additional awards complement its strategic collaboration with Volterra, aiming to establish up to 50 Hyla stations across North America within the next five years. The approval of California grant awards and government funding reflects strong backing for the mission of Nikola's hydrogen infrastructure brand Hyla. The primary objective is to create a comprehensive zero-emission transportation solution, assisting fleets in achieving climate targets and enhancing air quality in highly affected communities. The company appreciates California agencies' leadership in supporting the development of a robust zero-emissions ecosystem. Nikola Energy's president, Kerry Mendes, emphasizes that building an integrated hydrogen ecosystem to facilitate the deployment of hydrogen fuel cell electric trucks and establishing a scalable energy business stands as a top priority for the company. These awards and strategic partnerships play a vital role in enabling Nikola's pioneering efforts in zero-emission hydrogen fuel cell electric trucks and the growth of Hylas fueling infrastructure. The ultimate goal is to create an open network of commercial hydrogen refueling stations, initially concentrated in California and eventually expanded throughout North America. To support this expansion and ensure its success, Hyla is also working on developing a fleet of hydrogen mobile fuelers to provide hydrogen flex fueling, or H2F2. On the X platform, formerly Twitter, the overwhelming sentiment towards the stock is unmistakably bullish, with virtually everyone, including users and stakeholders, expressing positive outlook and confidence. The widespread optimism stems from various factors such as the company's leading position in zero emissions transportation and energy solutions, strategic partnerships, and significant funding support for its hydrogen infrastructure initiatives. The strong belief in the company's potential is further fueled by its plans to develop 50 Hyla stations across North America in the coming years, making it a pioneer in the hydrogen fuel cell market. Additionally, the company's commitment to achieving climate goals and its efforts to contribute to cleaner air quality in impacted communities have garnered substantial support and admiration. Overall, the resounding bullish sentiment on this stock reflects the prevailing belief in its ability to drive innovation and lead the way towards a greener and more sustainable future. All in all, Nikola is a solid EV stock as the company is on the right path and they should make it big in the coming few years. Remember that this is not financial advice and you should always do your own research and make informed investment decisions. That was all for today. Let us know if you think this stock will make you rich or not in the comment section. Hit like and subscribe to our channel, $1 World, for more such penny stock videos, and we will see you in the next one.